this is the Saturday ramp for Saturday the 9th of November 2019 and it's been recorded live in the Imperial a Weatherspoons in Exeter a Weatherspoons with an orangery I've never seen one of those in the spoons before however it's packed with kids babies all that sort of stuff so it is quite noisy so forgive the um, background noise anyway so what of this week first of all boilers my boiler has maintenance um, although I was told last year that parts of it are going out of well uh, some of the spare parts they might not be able to get so I'm living on borrowed time anyway I'm getting error code 13 which means there's not enough water in it despite the fact there is enough water in it I think it's something to do with that expansion whatever the big red thing um, there's an engineer coming on Monday despite the fact it was serviced about three months ago and I have a feeling if they can't fix it I'm gonna need to have a new one the fault is of course intermittent but I did write down the error code so there you go um, that's exactly what you need just before Christmas is putting your hand in your pocket for a new boiler condensing or not I must stop slapping my lips ah another iOS update this week 13.2.2 which is supposed to fix um, a memory management issue where apps that were in the background and still running would be closed down prematurely it solves a lot of other issues as well but it still hasn't done anything about Apple Mail which is still a riot come on Apple sort it out actually on the Daily Tech News show uh, they had Alison Sheridan on they were talking about uh, upgrades to operating systems and yearly updates or uh, twice yearly updates and I gotta be honest I know I've said this before it used to be oh I'd go for an alpha and then it was a beta and now I just want stability and then I want speed uh, obviously I want compatibility <sighs> come on um, and then contact lenses I'm on a Mini Beano at the moment, that's why I'm in Exeter, MB15. And I came down here on Thursday, and when I come away, I wear disposable contact lenses. I took 20 minutes trying to get my right contact lens in. In the end, I gave up and put the left contact lens in, which went in first time, but it seemed to be the wrong strength. So then I threw them both away and put two new ones in and I was in business. Yesterday, both lenses went in straight away. Today, it was a bit in the middle. Um, bodies, lenses, floppy things. However, it is drizzling today, so I'd rather be wearing contact lenses than glasses because they get wet and steam up and issues. Talking of issues, car parking. I'm staying in a Premier Inn and it has a car park but I'm not sure what they're doing with it because you can't park there and it would be free I think however there is a car park about five minutes walk away it's 13 pounds a day it has an app and I thought oh no problem just download the app and we're in business turns out I downloaded the app and I think it was for Newport a long time ago and I didn't keep any of the it took me about 20 minutes to get it down get the password re-log in and all that sort of stuff and it was just a faff however I can now renew it because it only does one day at a time from the Premier Inn and that's a positive thing although Exeter Council if you want people to come to your city please make it a little bit cheaper mind you the city of Exeter I really like it's nice and compact in the center um, there are some really good pubs I'm in the third of the three weather spoons there's a small bar called the beer cellar which you've got a t-shirt from and they are friendly and they have a lovely selection of beers 
just round the corner from the cathedral and there is and I know there's one in Bridport as well a bar called the Pursuit of Hoppiness while it's not quite the same as the Hereford Beer House it's of a similar plan and I'll be going back there after I've left here today although the Imperial does have a really good selection of cask ales and cask ales that I haven't had before and the bad news I'm back tomorrow and then on Monday boiler engineer <sighs> <laughs> oh, what can you say? Anyway, um, that's the wrap for Saturday the 9th of November 2019. Bringing and maintaining positivity in the November weather. Bye-bye.